Okay, uh, we're going to go from standard form to factored form uh, of a quadratic equation. So this is a trinomial, which tri means something with three terms. And it's a quadratic, which means it represents some type of relationship like this that looks like a parabola. Um, we're going to talk about factored. This is technically in what's called standard form. standard form, and we want to change it to factored form, and in order to do that, we use a process called factoring, okay? So, we need to factor this one. In this one, the way we're going to work on factoring is we're going to find the factors of our A term, and usually it's, um, when I say A, B, and C, they're, it's because they relate to them this way. This is usually our A. Our middle term, when in order, is our B, and our last term is our C, okay? So we get the factors of A and the factors of C, and their products have to add up to our B term. Okay. So the way you write this, factors of 3 are 3 and 1. Good. Factors of 10 are 10 and 1, yeah, 10 and, 1 and 2 and 5. Okay, um, okay so we're going to set them up in columns and put a red column around this one. And I'll just put some green columns over here so we get an idea that we can only be multiplying by numbers we use to multiply to 10. Okay? We need them to be products that add up to our middle term, which is negative 13. So we test these out. 3 by 1 and 1 by 10 gives us, oh, 3 and 10. Can those become negative 13? If one of them was negative. Actually, if both were negative. Oh, okay. okay. So if oh, yeah. both of these were negative, in this case, uh, 3 and 10, yeah, mm -hmm. um, that'll work. That'll work in this case. Yeah. And let me just quickly check something else. This would be 6, this would be 15, and yeah, that would have to be negative. Okay, good, yeah. So right off the bat, we figured out what it was. Great. So I'm just going to draw some permanent lines to help us remember. Uh, this would be 3 and 10, and in order for this to work, they both have to be negative. Uh, what is negative 1 times negative 10? Positive. Yeah, so that works in terms of our factors. So yeah. great. So now, when we go into factor form, we have our two brackets. The red numbers are going to be our first terms. And we attach an x. So I have 3x and 1x. Okay. Our blue, or sorry, blue, our green numbers will be our second ones. The only thing is we have to make sure if I multiply 3 by negative 1, the 3 and the negative 1 have to go in opposite brackets. Okay? So it has to be negative 1 here. And the same idea happens for our 1. Because we did 1 times negative 10, yeah. the 1 and the negative 10 have to go in opposite brackets. Okay, so the negative 10 here. And I'm just going to rewrite in black. I'm not going to change anything, just so it looks a little more permanent, though. Okay. So our final answer is 3x minus 10 times, and we can write this as just x minus 1. Does that process make yeah. sense? Yeah. 